Welcome back, science fans. Imagine stepping back in time to an era when the Great Pyramids were a new and majestic feature in the Egyptian sky. Nearby, the Great Sphinx of Giza, an immense stone guardian with the body of a lion and the head of a human, watches over the horizon. For eons, its origins have been shrouded in mystery, but today, we're on the brink of a groundbreaking discovery. Recent studies have cast the Great Sphinx in a new light, suggesting it wasn't completely sculpted by human hands, but was partly shaped by the whims of nature itself. Researchers from New York University have used the field of fluid dynamics to see if strong winds may have first shaped the masterpiece. It's an astonishing theory. The stone sphinx that has watched over the desert for millennia might have begun as a natural sculpture formed by the blowing desert wind and not by the pharaohs. To test this, scientists recreated their own mini sphinxes by using bentonite clay and plastic. They simulated the wind with running water and then watched as a lion-like shape emerged, as if by the hands of invisible sculptors. Their results are more than just an experiment. They're a window into the past. The Great Pyramids, with their millions of limestone blocks, showcase the Egyptians' architectural genius. The Great Sphinx could be a product of both nature's artistry and ancient human craftsmanship. While this idea might not yet be part of mainstream Egyptology, it's a real possibility and could rewrite the history of how these monuments were created. Whether by the hands of nature or the ancient Egyptians, the Sphinx remains a symbol of grandeur. After thousands of years, it still represents the powerful ancient Egyptian dynasties that created it. We have two more exciting topics to cover, but first, if you find our journey through time as fascinating as we do, please subscribe. Your support helps us unravel more mysteries like these. Now let's move on and leave the sands of Egypt and dive into another enigma that takes us beneath the ocean waves. Imagine reaching down into the shallow waters at the edge of the sea and lifting a creature that's all limbs, no torso, no head, just a living star. This is the sea star, commonly known as starfish, a creature that embodies the beauty and mystery of the ocean. For years we've been stumped because these creatures don't have a front or back, a head or tail, at least not in the way we understand most animals. But cutting-edge research from Stanford University and UC Berkeley has turned our understanding on its head. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, using advanced genomic techniques, scientists found that genes involved in head development are spread throughout a starfish. But the genes for the torso and tail are missing. It's as if starfish evolved to become giant crawling heads. This discovery shakes up the animal family tree. It questions how we view symmetry in nature. This means that typically, we see bilateral symmetry, which are animals with two mirrored sides. From humans to dogs to horses, our bodies can be split into mirrored halves along a single plane. It's a pattern that suggests a common thread in the evolution of complex life forms. But starfish? They don't play by these rules. They exhibit radial symmetry, meaning their bodies are arranged around a central axis, similar to the spokes of a bicycle wheel. Our understanding of these differences came with the breakthrough of hi-fi sequencing, a technology that reads long DNA strands intact. To explain this, imagine your DNA is like a super long sentence with all the letters making up instructions for building you. Older science tools could only read short fragments at a time, which was like trying to understand a story by only looking at a few letters here and there. But hi-fi sequencing is like having the superpower to see all the letters in the sentence all at once. So scientists can understand the whole story of what makes a starfish a starfish. This lets researchers map genetic activity in starfish precisely a process that was previously impossible because of their unique tissue. So instead of just one brain in a head like humans, a starfish has parts of a brain in each of its arms. This means every one of them can sort of think for itself. Before we move on, I wanted to remind you that there's always a link to each of our stories in the description below. Our last story takes us back to the formative days of the moon's existence. Scientists, including Professor Deng Hongping from the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, have been exploring the Earth's layers. Their research has unearthed signs of a monumental collision that is believed to have given birth to our moon. But this cosmic event did more than just create our nearest celestial neighbor. It also left enormous fragments inside our planet's mantle, the layer just beneath Earth's crust. The research led by Professor Deng, which graced the cover of Nature, overturns previous ideas of the Earth's mantle. It reveals that the mantle is not a monolithic blend, but a stratified historical record inscribed in stone. Two vast regions beneath Africa and the Pacific Ocean are where seismic waves travel unusually slow, indicating the presence of material that differs from the surrounding mantle. These regions are more than geological curiosities. They likely contain remnants of Theia, 
The hypothetical protoplanet whose collision with Earth is credited with the moon's creation. It's as if Earth's mantle is a crime scene, preserving evidence of this ancient impact with fragments of Theia embedded within it. Moreover, the characteristics of these areas could be like a time capsule, containing clues about the solar system's early history, not just Earth's composition, but also that of our moon and how the inner planets formed. Isotopes found in volcanic rocks from places like Iceland reveal this deep connection, hinting at our planet's surface as a narrator of distant origin stories. This research is not solely about understanding our own planet. It's a glimpse into the universe's past and a guide for the ongoing search for habitable planets beyond our solar system. Deciphering the secrets of Earth's mantle could help us unlock the mysteries of potentially Earth-like worlds around other stars. As we continue to decode the ancient stories hidden beneath our feet, we are on the cusp of reshaping our understanding of our place in the cosmos. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe because every new subscriber makes a difference in getting this channel discovered by new people. Until the next time.